Hello everybody. This is Wendy from Fingersticks Gallery again. Um, so I got a wild hair and decided to try something a little bit new. Um, I've never seen this done before, so I'm kind of curious to see if anybody else has tried this. Um, I'm going to do the Waverly chalk paint. Again, don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm kind of excited to see. Okay, so I've already prepped the canvas. Now I've mixed this with my my go-to pouring medium, the 50-50 Floetrol um, and Elmer's Glue All Mix. And it this stuff is so thick. So um, I mixed it more than 50-50 pouring medium to paint. It's probably more like 60-40, maybe a little more pouring medium to paint. So we're going to see. Um, I actually really wanted to do a large canvas with um, peacock feather, like a peacock feather blowout. So I started mixing some colors, my, my test colors, just to see how they dry and look. Everything has oil except for that chalk paint. So uh, we're going to see what happens <clears throat> with that. We're going to do a four cup, uh, probably in one in each corner. Um, just a regular flip cup, not a flip and drag, just a regular old flip cup. And that one has paint on the bottom. We're not going to put that up there. Okay. Actually, we're going to use, yeah, I'm going to wipe the paint off him so I can show you what the heck I'm doing here. And if a little paint gets on too, that's okay. So, okay. I'm going to be really conscious too about how much paint I put in these cups because I am really bad at over, over painting. You know, over pouring. So again, I'm just gonna wing it because I've never done this before, and I'm kind of excited. I have no idea what the reaction's gonna be, but somebody along the way thought that enamel paint would be neat to mix in here, and uh, it makes a really neat billowing effect. So you know what? Kudos to you for trying that. Um, my motto, as you guys have probably heard me say before, is don't ever be afraid to be a beginner or try new things. Because that's how that worked out. That's how they figured out, hey, actually, let's do the gold. We're going to do, we're going to do it this way. Um, so that's how they figured out, wow, hey, enamels mixed with other paint, that makes a cool reaction. Okay, so most of these colors, in fact, all of these colors, except for the white and this really pretty gold color, um, are mixed. I just make my own colors. Um... This gold is the folk art. Uh, what is this? I don't even remember what color it is, but I added a little bit of the uh, extreme glitter hologram paint from folk art. This stuff is awesome. I love this stuff. Um, and then the rest of them are just, you know, just kind of mixed and they're apple barrel products for the rest of them. So except for that white paint, which is the chalk. And then I think I'm going to add a little bit of white in the middle before I do the green, maybe. I'll just kind of mix it up a little bit with the, the white. Okay, so these all have about one drop per ounce of paint of um, the treadmill silicone oil. Okay, and then go back to the white. So yeah, I want to do a peacock painting. I th and that's probably going to be my next painting, but I'm trying to work up my courage to do it because it's going to be huge. It's going to be a 12 by 24 canvas. And I think I want to do, I don't know yet. I want to start at the bottom and blow the peacock feathers up. And then maybe at the bottom, do a swipe just just for the the texture on the bottom but i'm not really sure yet i've been rolling this around in my brain for a couple weeks now <sighs> so we'll see what happens yeah we'll do the white so the white already is sinking to the bottom and i tried to make it the same consistency but since it's that chalky chalkiness i think we're just going to have a lot of white on the bottom I think I got my 
test colors figured out to do the uh, peacock, so we'll see. Okay, so since there's already white on the bottom, and it's only filled up about halfway, these are I think three ounce cups. So, ta-da! Okay. Oh, okay. And I put a little bit of this silicone oil in the bottom of the cups just to help them release, considering there's already oil in the paints anyway. So, and I wanted to show you, um, yesterday, um, actually it would be today because I'm going to upload the video today. Um, but I couldn't wait to do this and show you guys, but I did a mother's day inspired, uh, balloon smash. Cause I bought my mom a mother's day card and these colors were in the card and I'm pretty excited for it. It's going to turn out really nice. It's almost, almost all the way dry. So, and that's really neat. So Okay, so I'm just going to, I think, just pick these suckers straight up. I really do think, because even though I put the, the white in first, so technically you would think it would come out first, but they never do. Paint has their own ideas and ways about things. So if you, if you ever pour your paint in in a specific order does not always mean they are going to come out the way you want them to. They really do have a mind of their own. So, boy, that green really took over. Okay, so I'm going to spread it out. Actually, maybe put some caps on. Oh, so I wanted to show you guys. I get these little, these little uh, snack cups at Walmart. They are fantastic for sealing your paint. Um, they do tend to, you know, if you have only a little bit of paint, they do tend to dry out around the edges, around the top. So just don't, um, don't stir your paints up, you know, around the edge if it starts drying out. Okay. Spread this guy. Man, it, this color combination <laughs> reminds me of something. I just can't put, I just can't put my finger on what it reminds me of. Maybe, oh, Goosebumps books. That's what it is. If you have ever, well, as a child, or I was a teenager when I was reading mine too, or have had kids that read the Goosebumps books, oh my gosh, I tell you what, that was a huge selling point for me uh, to encourage me to read. My mom would always get me those Goosebumps books. And if your kids are having a hard time reading, or they don't want to read because what kid wants to sit there all day and read? I know a couple very awesome kids that do. Uh, but those Goosebumps books were awesome. And that's the color combination. I swear I've seen it on one of the covers before. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to torch it because I do want some cells. Oh, man, that's cool looking. Okay. I'm excited today. It's the weekend. Okay, so first off, I can already tell that chalk paint. I don't know if I just mixed it and it had a ton of bubbles in it, but wow, look at all those little baby cells. That's why I stopped because I wanted to stretch them out just a tiny bit and I didn't know what it was going to do. I'm glad I stopped. Uh, so anyway, this weekend, yeah, we're going to go. We've got my husband's little cousin coming over and we're going to go mushroom hunting and four wheeling and some fun stuff. So yeah. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. So anyway, yeah, I don't even know if they make those goosebumps books anymore, but wow, what a fun thing to do as a kid. Um, there were some that you can pick the outcome of the storyline. Um, which was kind of fun for me because you get to pick your own like mysteries and and my grandma by golly she made sure I read and did my homework that would be my dog Joey barking at the sheep outside when I'm in my little studio aka the tack room aka the pump house um my dogs like to sit right by the door. And since the sheep 
are just running around in our living space outside. Uh, my dog, he can't always get towards the door and he's pretty mommy dependent, so. Okay, so, hey guys, I do not know how this is gonna turn out once it dries or if it's gonna morph or do anything crazy, but I can tell you right now, I am super excited. Um, I, I am a little bit nervous though, because when I was doing the, the background, when I was painting on the background, because I, I like to, to prep my canvases with paint first, it was drying really, really quickly. So I guess that would be my only concern with it, that it's just going to dry really quickly and maybe crack or separate. But as always, I will show you the outcome uh, in the next video. And the next video is probably going to be my very large canvas when I do the peacock feathers. So I can't make any promises, but we'll see. I'm gonna torch it one more time. Okay, and then wipe my hands off again, and then bring you guys in for a close up. It's really, really cool. I'm, I'm really impressed. These are the coolest looking cells that I've had in a very long time. And again, it's with this matte chalk paint from Weber, well, Waverly. Um, and I got it at Walmart. It was just sitting there. And it's acrylic too. It's just the chalk. So um, it was staring at me when I was at Walmart picking my peacock colors. And it, I swear, it mind controlled me into buying it. So. Okie dokie. So there's the Mother's Day one again. It's so pretty. Okay. So I'm very, very excited. Um, I don't know if I'm too excited about all of that green, but you know what? It's a learning experience for everybody who's watching and myself. So boy, these cells are really, really cool. So I'm super excited for everyone. If this works out and you want to try that chalk and they come in a variety of colors. So anyway, guys, I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to see, uh, when it dries and until next time, bye-bye, love you all, and you will see me soon.